I've been trying to get your attention. Are you deaf or something? Hi, I'm sorry. I'm the only one here today, and there was a big dinner rush. I apologize. Are you giving me excuses? You are a waitress. How hard can this be, for God's sake? Um, <sighs> again, I'm sorry. Uh, what can I get you two folks? Looks like this guy's hungry for some dinosaur chicken fingers. How dare you? Oh, they're not actually made of dinosaurs. They're just shaped like them. Excuse me. You have no idea what you're talking about, okay? When you say he looks hungry. Oh, I didn't. Does he look hungry to you? No. Second of all, don't you ever, ever speak to my child, but okay? Mom, please. Excuse me, shut it. Or else, I'm serious. Now, do you understand? Or do I need to talk to a manager? Um, I fully understand. Again, my sincerest apologies. I'll get your order and get it to you as soon as possible, okay? That's better. So what can I get you? Mm. I will have an omelet with three eggs, but make it with two. Bacon on the side. Mm -hmm. Maybe oatmeal with apples and cinnamon, yogurt, large soda. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? Give me a plate of waffles, cause it's like, it's my cheat day. So. Okay, plate of waffles. Is that everything? That's... Oh, Cody of course will have a hard boiled egg. Just one. It's his birthday. Well, we do have a, uh, a kid's special. It comes, it's like a grilled cheese, about this big, and then it comes with a side of fries as well. Are you giving me recommendations? I've given you my order already. So why don't you go back and make it for us? Can you do that? Or are you just a little too dumb? Nope, I'll get that to you as soon as possible. Hey. Oh, oh, hey, come here. Yeah, I forgot. My Cody actually will need a drink, so. Tap water will do. You can fetch that for him at room temperature, please. No ice. Got it. Oh my god. Service. And a little extra. What the hell is this? Did you get our drink order wrong already? Uh, no. It's just, uh, it's on the house. Oh, so you think that I can't afford to buy my son a milkshake? Oh, that's not what I'm saying at all. I, I just thought, <sighs> if we wanted a milkshake, we would have ordered a milkshake. What if he was lactose intolerant? I... Yeah, what? You messed up, that's what. I'm not gonna forget this. So take it back to the kitchen and get it right, please. Or send someone who can do their job properly. Right away.
Benny, have you seen that woman and kid before? Well, they come in once in a while. She's a bit uh, <laughs> picky. <laughs> yeah. I got a bad feeling. And that kid looks terrified. It's none of our business, Alice. Our business is taking orders. Now go cash out table 12. I do not trust that woman. Her name's Henrietta, and she's a good customer. And she even likes to leave a decent tip if you just make her happy. So just do exactly that and make her happy. And make me happy by getting that bill to table 12 before that couple thinks their meal is on the house. Benny, don't you care that something might- No! No, I don't care. I care about happy customers. I care about that salad, making it to table four. Order up. Okay, we have some toast, have some waffles, some omelets, sausages, and a hard boiled egg. Um, oh, maple syrup. I'll go get that. Hey! Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I knew I knew you from somewhere, yeah. You're one of those trailer people who lives down the Riverside Trail, aren't you? Riverside Valley, yes. Yeah. It just makes so much sense now why you couldn't get our order properly. Your whole family is just like inbred hillbillies, right? Oof. Yep, just a bunch of crazy goats on a hill. Meh. <laughs> well, isn't it so sweet of Benny to give you a job? What a nice man. He must take such sympathy on you. Pity, pity on you. And your pathetic little life. Get your hand away from my place. You serious? You are in for it now. I am nice enough to get you breakfast for dinner the coolest thing a parent could do, and this is the thanks that I get? You steal from me? You are a nasty little boy. Oh, there's jam right here. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry! Um, this is not happening. Do our napkin no, happen? don't touch me! Oh, this is unbelievable. Don't move! Move! Are you in danger? Don't say anything. Um, if you need my help, take a sip, okay? I'm gonna get some help. Just stay here, okay? Be right back, I promise. What? What are you doing? Call in Child Protective Services. It's none of our business, Alice. Give me the phone, Alice. Or what, Benny? Where you can find another place to work. Now you think carefully, Alice. And think about your son, Billy. I am. That kid needs our help. Are you gonna help? Yes, hi. Um. Oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? A dollar is still so much money for trailer trash like you. Think of it as a whole hundred cents. 
No. Looks like we have to escort you and your son to the office immediately. No. So we can reopen your file and reassess <gasps> your custody status? No. You did this, you piece of... Trailer trash? At least I know how to love my child. I am a wonderful mother! No, you're not. Benny? Benny! Benny, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them I'm a good mom. I I'm a great customer. Benny, I'm your... Penny! Do you remember me? No. Penny. Are you hungry, Cody? No. Have you eaten anything today? No. You ruined everything! Everything! I need my... Get your hands off me. I need my money. I need my kid. I need my child to... Cody! Go don't... She pulled my hair! You almost pushed me right there. Are you taping this? I am going to steal you! Excuse me. Oh, the door. Oh. did the right thing to call. Sorry. Where do you think you're going? I just want to go home to my kid. Let me guess. Another long day at work. God. <laughs> He's sick. Supper's on the table. I ate at work, Mom. I'm fine. What's wrong? Food not good enough for you? And whatever happened to eating together as a family? There you go, with that long face of yours. There's people in the world starving, you know. Not everyone's as fortunate as you are. God, you, you make me sick. You know, it's been hard, you know. And all our savings just, just went up in smoke. Oof. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, take your headphones off, I'm talking to you. You wanna know what the worst part of all is? The worst part of all is that because of you and your stupid university, I can't even afford the smallest things that make me happy. You robbed me of my life. And I've had enough. I've had enough. Come on, Ma. Come on. You've had enough for one day. Almost finished, Ma. Uh, 
a friend of mine who owns this restaurant she taught me how to do this incredible recipe that you're going to love. Uh, I mean, but I think I taste tested the food a bit too much while I was preparing it. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be eating, but uh, you go right ahead. You didn't wait for me? You ate alone again? <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? Mom, you were asleep. What's the big issue? I don't get it. There. That'll teach you to disrespect me. <laughs> Your father was right. We've been better off with this son. You don't need to take notes. I think it's more important that you just listen to what I have to say. I'm sorry, it's just that uh, I usually like to write down anything that has to do with uh, self-improvement. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What does your tattoo say? Um, because I'm going to be free and I'm going to be fine. <laughs> yes, you are. You know, I know how hard it is for children of uh, toxic parents not to blame themselves. You know how I know? I was one of those children. And I'm assuming the, the child abuse is what led you to becoming a therapist? You're very perceptive. You know what else you are, Sarah? You're very brave. <gasps> mm. Yeah, I doubt that. I mean, what have I done that makes me brave? You lived your whole life with an abusive mother with absolutely no parental guidance to speak of. I admire you. It shows such strength in the face of adversity. My mother, uh, she always held it against me that I wasn't born a boy, like how her and my father wanted. But um, I do my I do my best, yes. But I mean, in, inside, I. I hate her. I, I, I want to be miles away from her. I mean, I'm saying this about my own mother. You have a right to feel like that. Listen to this, Sarah. Life's unfair. Your mom was left devastated when your dad left. And guess who she took it out on? But, I mean, you know, do you think she consciously knew what she was doing? She may. She may not. What's important, though, is what you do with it. Sure, you can live your life with all that resentment, all that anger, or you can take all that energy and you could put it into what you want to do. Here's a little life lesson for you. Life's too short to hold on to grudges. Your mom's pain, it doesn't belong to you. The minute that you choose to forgive is when you can move forward with your life. Maggie, but if you're saying that I should just leave home and without any sense of guilt, I mean, no, like you're mistaken. I, she's gonna make sure that she blames me for the rest of my life. I mean, won't it be easier for me to just, you know, stay put and, and find a way to, to just deal with all of this? No one said it was gonna be easy. Okay, life's too short to spend that uh, little bit of finite time that we have trying to convince a loved one not to live in a life of despair. Instead, I want you to find people who lift you up, make you smile, spend your day laughing instead of crying. Okay, it may mean that you have to, you know, you have to give up a loved one. But family is not only about blood ties. Your mom's suffering, it tells me that she's, she had a lot of harm done to her when she was younger. 
your age, possibly even younger, I want you to consider that the harm that she's putting on you is harm that she suffered herself. It might help you find a little, a little compassion for her because I think she's still suffering. She's like a twisted tree in a dark, dark forest, just reaching, reaching for that little bit of light. Life's too short to hate. Life's too short. Sarah, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Are you coming in? I'm just here for my mail. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, it's on the kitchen table. Uh, well, well, come in just while I get up, okay? Looks like someone's got a date. No. <laughs> No, I have a date with you. It's been months I've been waiting for the right time to say I'm how sorry I am and to apologize for everything that I did. You you helped me see the light. I I didn't reach out because I know you needed your space, but now you're finally here. I just want to say how sorry I am and to apologize for everything I did and to ask your forgiveness. I, I know that I might not deserve it. But please, Sarah, forgive me. You've come a long way, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I do forgive you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarah. Can't say it's been easy, but you taught me a, a valuable life lesson. So you're just gonna sit there, or you're gonna have something to eat. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> But I, I have to be super strong for Leo. And for you guys. Now, my, um, <clears throat> Leo's medication. Along with his evening meds, he takes these two every morning. They give him nausea. But my Leo has been super brave, right? He never complains. He's such a good kid. <laughs> he deserves so much better. This breaks my heart. Can you imagine how hard it must be to be a full-time influencer and have to take care of a sick child? Wow, tell me about it. Hey, I know this woman. What? You know, superb super mom? The who? What's her personal brand. How do you know her? Sandy did an after-school theater program with her son, Leo, last year. I mean, we carpooled for weeks. I had no idea she was some big shot influencer. Oh, no, no, she's not just an influencer. She is a thought leader. Oh, she inspires me so much. Watch. This is what super motherhood looks like. You might ask, what is super motherhood? It's a revolutionary program that I developed while raising my son, Leo. The program has two core tenets, support and success. I'll teach you how to do both in my brand new course called Take the Vow. Every mom will receive one of these to show your commitment to becoming a super, super mom. Now don't wait one more minute, my lovely ladies. Click the link below because for the next 24 hours, I'm offering a 50% discount for new signups. The amount you're paying is practically nothing compared to the six-figure income you'll soon be earning. Honestly, I could charge way more, but I'd rather spread my teachings to as many moms as possible. Oh, and of course, I'll keep you updated on how Leo is doing with his symptoms. That's it! 
Wishing all of you lovely ladies a peaceful and superb day. Bye for now. Mm, I don't know. She rubs me the wrong way. She did before when I met her and she still does now. Um, what are you doing? With signing up. I just, I feel like this is what I need to do. And it's 50% off. Sheila, wait, wait, wait. Just like that, you're buying her course? I mean, how much is it? Well, yeah, I mean, you heard what she said. The money doesn't matter. The course will pay for itself within three months, so... Sheila, how much? 800-ish. $800 for an online mothering course? Sheila, that's insane. No, you don't understand, Andrea. This woman, she is brilliant. She could be suckering you into a huge waste of money. Look, Sheila, I, I know you guys are having a bit of trouble paying the bills right now. I, I don't mean to overstep No, you but... are overstepping, Andrea, okay? This is not your decision to make. I know, but I'm just... No, you don't understand, okay? You don't know how much it hurts never to be able to do anything nice for your kids, ever. To, to, to always have to refuse them toys or, or dessert on the rare occasion that we go to the restaurant. And I see this. I see Jennifer's video and I think, oh, it doesn't have to be this way. I can be a good mom and a breadwinner. I just need to take the vow. I know that things haven't been easy, but just think of all the things you can do with that extra $800. Look, I have an idea. Why don't we go to Jennifer's and ask her in person? I mean, we used to carpool, so I know her address. It isn't far. And she, she's not going to mind us just showing up out of the blue? Not at all. I mean, she's always said to drop on in and say hi anytime. This way you can ask all your questions and figure out if you want to take the course before you put the money down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah Okay, yeah. let's go. So the special thing about this crystal is that it actually provides a healing energy. Obviously, with everything Leo is going through with his illness, this has really been a game changer. Leo, enough! Don't make me take that stupid gun away. <sighs> Calm down. Hi, can I help you? Um, Jennifer, it's, it's me, Andrea. Um, Sandy's mom from the Young Thespians Company. Oh, of course, Andrea. <laughs> yeah. So lovely to see you again. And this is... Hi, I'm Sheila. Sheila, you're a number one fan. I can't believe I'm meeting you right now. <laughs> Look, we're, we're so sorry to be interrupting, but we wanted to know if we can ask you a couple of questions about the motherhood course. Oh, oh, I knew it. You guys are taking the vow. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> well, um, actually, we're, we're still deciding. Um, may we come in? Yes, of course. Please. Uh, Hi. Oh, wow. Oh. Hi. Hi. Thank you. On the left. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Leo, that's enough. Remember, you're too sick for this. But, but you have mom. to preserve your energy. Go back to bed this instant. But, but no, mom. not another word. No, chop chop. I'm so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Leo gets so ahead of himself with his toys. Reminds him of what normal life used to be like. How the other boys get to play freely. He can't even go outside anymore. It's too risky. So, you guys had questions for me about taking the vow? I just have one question. Mm -hmm. How do I become a perfect mom like you? Oh, oh sweetie, come here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me teach you, Sheila, oh. honey. Let me teach you. <laughs> oh, <me. laughs> oh. <laughs> Before you go, can we talk? Is this about the course again? Look, just hear me out, okay? Don't you think that her son, Leo, didn't look very sick at all? Oh. Andy, she explained it to us. It's Leo's coping mechanism to pretend to be able to run around like a normal 10-year-old. He is very sick. Then how come I saw Jennifer's been filling his pill containers with candy tablets instead of actual medications? Andy, you probably misunderstood. She's probably filling them with candy as a reward for Leo taking his medication. How can you seriously defend this woman? She's a fraud, okay? She manipulates people under the pretense of being an influencer. Okay, that's enough. How dare you insult her? Superb motherhood is the ticket to my happiness. Can you just be supportive for once? You know what I think? You have 
no idea what it's like to be me. You have your husband's big shot executive job paying the bills. You could be a full-time mom to Sandy, but me, I have to keep working these cleaning jobs for tips. Meanwhile, knowing that I am a failure as a mother. And, and this, this is my only chance to redeem myself. That's not true. Uh, wait, uh, Sheila. Don't even think about it. But, but, Mom, those are my friends. Which means they watch our channel. Yeah. But, Mom, I'm not sick and I don't want to pretend anymore. Leo, listen to me. When they see you looking healthy, they're going to think you're a liar. You don't want to be a liar, sweetie, do you? Okay, let's go. Hello, my lovely beauties. Just a quick announcement for you. Basically, guys, I've been feeling super disconnected today. And I've decided the best thing for my spiritual growth is to be generous to all of you, my dear friends. So on that note, for the next 24 hours, when you register for my course, you'll also receive a free one-hour consultation with me. But in spite of this, I'll tell you. Today we walked through the park, and Leo saw his friends playing but he couldn't join them. And I felt so bad for my sweet little boy. It broke my heart. I, I just needed to replace the sadness with some positive vibes. You liar! You made me pretend to be sick. Wait, poor little boy. You're delusional, my son. Must be the medication causing side effects. You mean these medications? Leo, what are you doing? Stop, stop, stop that right now. But mom, it's for my sickness. That's right, mom. I'm not sick, and I don't want to pretend anymore. Leo, 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 come here. Come back here this instant, Leo. Andrea. Hi. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for yesterday. Um, actually, you were right. Uh, the whole Jennifer superb motherhood thing was just a big scam. Who would have thought? I'm sorry. I brought you something. Night classes. Well, you've been talking about wanting to go back to school to jumpstart your career in HR. Yeah, with uh, three kids and my job, I mean, I don't think I can. Well, that's where I come in. You know, I can look after the kids a few nights, and if not, they can hang out with Sandy. Oh, <laughs> oh you're such a good friend. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and you are a great mom. Even on days when you're feeling frustrated and, and overwhelmed, you are still great. You know, I know you're not taking the vow anymore, but want to take the cookies? I'll make the coffee. <laughs> Come on. You're still here. Uh, yes, why wouldn't I be? Uh, What's this all about? Uh, it's better if I come in and explain. Bradley? Bradley! Oh, there's my Bradley. Oh. Oh. What's going on? You wouldn't believe the week that I've had and the voyage here was absolutely exhausting. I know moving so far away from me wasn't your idea. mind bringing my bags up to my room and if you damage anything I'll know now please I need a moment alone with my son
I would never do that. Yes. I caught him red-handed this morning. Once you're a shriveled up old woman, they leave you for someone younger, but I never thought my Brian would ever. <laughs> I don't believe this. <laughs> what the hell was he thinking? I gotta call him. No, I mean, not now. I'm just so overwhelmed. I just cannot take any more drama for one day. Besides, you know how persuasive he can be. He's just gonna turn you against me. <laughs> well, it won't work. Not this time. I'm so sorry. What can I do to help? I need a place to stay. Big heart, and just as I've loved you and and taken care of you and given you life, you're a good son. You would never turn your mother away. Well, how long would it be? I, I don't know. I I I can't think straight. There's too much going on. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> wait, wait. My medication. I'm gonna have to call the doctor and change the address. I just, Mom. I just Mom. don't know what address Mom. to give him. Mom, it's okay. You can use our address. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. Okay. So, how long? God, you've been eavesdropping on us. How dare you? a private conversation with my son and you're spying in on us. Bradley, this is exactly why I can't get along with her in my moment of need and weakness. <laughs> you're right, Susan. That was wrong of me to eavesdrop. Especially given what you've been through. It's just, this is our home. Brad and I, you understand? April, now's not the time, okay? <laughs> Just give us a few minutes so we can figure this thing out. So okay, Mom. Okay. okay. I'll give you some time. This is not okay. She practically threatened me, Brad. It sounds like you just caught her at a bad moment, babe. This is more than a bad moment. You don't think he fell off and doing what you said? Look, just talk about it in the morning, okay? Pick it up. I don't want to talk to him. But you haven't even heard his side of the story there yet. There is no other side. Don't you get it? He cheated. He's a liar. Why would my mom ever lie about something like that? I mean, that's the woman who raised me you're talking about. I'm not saying Yes, you are. I know you've never liked her. 
it's just... I feel like he hates me. And I feel like you... Well, maybe it's your feelings that are the problem here, April. My mom doesn't hate anyone. And she's not a liar. So just drop all of this, okay? Good morning, Susan. Oh, come join us. Nicholas is making breakfast. Oh, April, why don't you let me make breakfast? That's very sweet of you to offer, but already started. No, no, seriously, it's the least I can do to thank the two of you for your hospitality. Brad, that's the fifth time he's called you this morning. When are you gonna finally pick it up? What could that lawyer possibly have to say that's worth listening to? Oh, you know, I hate pancakes. Besides the fact that they make you fat. Let's have eggs instead, shall we? So, how did you find out, Susan? Well, you said you caught your husband cheating red-handed. So, how did you exactly find out? Well, if you must know, it was through um, social media. I, um, I left my pro... Brian left his profile open on the computer and I, I uh, happened to glance over and that's when I saw that they were planning the rendezvous. The two of them, him and his assistant. <laughs> Wait, I thought your dad doesn't use social media. Right, Brad? Well, he probably created a secret account to cheat. I mean, I mean, lots of people do that, you know. Talk Listen, about we can't this. talk about it again. She's clearly going through something. Okay, I gotta get to work. No, just Late. five minutes. I don't have time right now. We'll talk, I promise you, later, okay? I have to go. I love you. Everything's okay. I'll figure it out. Bradley, what's wrong? It's my friend. He just told me April sent him a weird message. Oh my god, I knew she couldn't be trusted. What did John say? Don't take that call. Do not answer it. How did you know it was John? I never said his name. Brad? Just listen. I know everything. Your dad called and he told me the whole story. It wasn't him who cheated on your mother. It was... The other way around, I know. It was her. You ruined your marriage. And you tried to destroy mine because you knew that April was onto you. So my dad was right. She was trying to sabotage us. What do you have to say for yourself? She's lying, of course. You're not seriously gonna believe her over me, Bradley. I'm your mother! No, Mom. 
I believe my wife. I, I think it's time for you to go. Where would I go? How could you do this to me? No, Mom. You did this yourself. She, she changed you! Ruined you! Stolen my sweet little boy! This, this is not over! Can you tell me what you see? He's been complaining all week about the pain. Well, would you mind? A little room to work, huh? Thank you. Honestly, there's nothing much to report. We'll keep checking. There has to be something wrong. He's been in pain all week. Maybe check his lungs again. I assure you, they're clear. And his heart? Perfectly fine and healthy. Leo, we're done. So what's your diagnosis? All I can see is a mild inflammation in his ear canal. It just means that he probably has a light ear infection. A, a slight ear infection? I really don't think a little ear infection would keep my baby boy up all night crying. I'm going to prescribe a short course of antibiotics for you to give him once a day, and the pain should go away. What do you mean it should? There's no guarantees. You know what? This is not good enough. <sighs> Fine. If the pain doesn't go away in a week or so, bring them in and we can do some more tests. Dude, this is ridiculous. What are those tests gonna find that these tests didn't find? Why aren't you running all the necessary tests now? Ma'am, I think I'm the one with the medical degree here. So, your son simply has an ear infection. I don't believe you. Why aren't you doing everything you can to help him? I have done everything that is necessary. Thank you and good day. This is neglect. You can't do this. I'll report you to the medical board. You can kiss your medical license goodbye. Dana, my office, please. Of course, doctor. Giddy up, giddy up. Sit. Is everything okay with Mrs. Matthews? Just another overbearing mother, nothing new. Look, I'm sorry to tell you this, but um, I'm gonna have to let you go. What? Why? Well, I've... I found a more qualified candidate for a senior position and he won't be needed anymore. But I thought you were happy with my work. Well, that's not really the problem. What's the problem then? I thought you gave me this position because you saw potential in me. Now you're taking it away? Circumstances change. And I'm sorry to say, potential's not enough. I feel more comfortable having a nurse practitioner in charge of operations. I don't understand. Let me help you. You're not qualified. That's your letter of termination. Do I at least get my paid notice? Mm-hmm. A week. Excuse me, have you seen Dr. John anywhere? Oh, I, I think he's still on his lunch break. Of course he is. How convenient. Can you tell him that I'm waiting in his office, please? Okay. Doctor! Jesus! God damn it! Can't you see that I'm busy? Dr. Sanchez is waiting for you in your office. How long has she been there? Why didn't you page me? Linda. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, I, no one told me that you were coming in. Can I get you a coffee? Tea. Dana? Uh, tea for Dr. Sanchez, please. Sorry, doctor, I really- Dana! Please? Thank you. So, to what uh, do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to inform you, Richard, but 
you're being investigated for malpractice. <laughs> How come? There has been a very concerning report filed with us. One of your pediatric patients has worsened after your initial consultation, and his mother is claiming malpractice. Okay, before you go any further, I know exactly who you're talking about, and that kid will be perfectly fine after a week or two, I promise. What, you must be joking. I can assure you I am not. After all the years that I've been practicing medicine, I have never once had a report go against me. Are you forgetting the 2001 Jefferson case? I was fresh out of medical school. You know me, Linda. And I'm on top of my field now. No, Richard. I'm top of my field. And you're on very thin ice. I can't believe this. One kid doesn't miraculously get better after one of my consultations, and now you're putting me under investigation? It's not just one, Richard. There's been a string of very questionable reviews about you online. Misdiagnosis, incompetency, borderline abusive behavior. You can't possibly believe this. You're a doctor and a physician. You can bring her in and you'll see. I promise you. Well, I already have a meeting with them. And if you're wrong, Richard, your career will be over before you know it. You remember what I told you? You tell them that the pain has gotten much worse, huh, sweetie? You haven't been able to sleep all week and you feel very dizzy. You do that for mommy and I promise to get you that red attack game you've always wanted. Hmm? Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. I don't understand how you can work in a place like this for a man like that. Mrs. Matthews, thank you so much for coming on such short notice. How are you feeling, Leo? That's a shame. Well, I promise we will get to the bottom of all of this. Dana, is it? Can I have a word, please? Yes. So, as you may know by now, Dr. John is currently being investigated by the medical board. It is protocol for the board to interview every member of staff so we can get the full picture of what's been going on. Now, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions it is very important that you answer with the absolute truth, okay? Okay. Now, I know how intimidating Dr. John can be sometimes, but don't let that hold you back. I promise you can say whatever is on your mind, okay? There are no consequences. So, how has it been working here under Dr. John's leadership? Good morning, Linda. Good morning. After a long debate, the board has decided to call off the investigation. After a critical testimony by one of your employees, it became clear that the accusations against you were false. Despite what internet trolls may think, you are a highly skilled doctor. It pains me to admit it, but I, we were wrong. Ah, uh, well, thank you. Uh, just out of curiosity, who gave the testimony? Dana Chen. Okay. Thanks for the call.
Dana. I heard that today was your last day. It is. Right. Well, um, uh, good luck on your endeavors. Good luck in finding a nurse who lasts longer than two months. No vacancies? No worries. Goodbye. Hello? Hello, is this Dana Chang? Yes, speaking. Hi, my name is Dr. Auburn. I'm calling from the Bridgewater Clinic. We've just received an incredible recommendation letter from a Dr. Richard John Evans. From what he's written about you, I'd be stupid not to offer you an interview. Would you be interested? Yes, I'm very interested. Excellent, I'll be in touch soon. Take care. Bye. So, Dr. John wasn't suspended, and I can't believe how neglectful the medical board is. My poor son is very sick. <coughs> I've decided to document my journey for justice. This won't be the last time they're hearing from me. From us. Right, sweetie? <laughs>